In this video, I'm going to review how you can take measured and recorded points you've made in the field with your total station tablet. So when you're measuring, it's going to come up looking something like this, where you, they are just points in blank space. How you can take these points and overlay them and align them to an AutoCAD drawing. Before we get into the video, let me answer the question of why. Why would you ever get into a situation where you would be using the total station without a digital plan? Well, the simple answer to that is that there will be times when you need to measure points as they exist in the field and compare them as you see them on the screen here, check their dimensions, check their angles, check their heights, and then compare that to what the digital plan really is saying. And sometimes it's just easier to go out without a digital plan whatsoever and just record what's in the field. This is common among steel fabricators, for instance, if they are measuring and recording an area that they intend to fabricate a steel structure from, such as you see here, the steel above the bar was measured and recorded for its anchor locations prior to fabrication. Among glazers, when they need to check the edge of slab as they go up floor by floor to make sure that their anchors are the same distance from a grid line within the building, and of course, I've seen this in general survey work when they want to go and check the location of specific items throughout a large job site, such as manholes, sewer drains, and other critical landmarks that they might need to know about on the job site before they do extra survey work. Please feel free to leave in the comments some things that you've done with measure and record in the blank space and why you've aligned points to CAD files before, but that's just some examples. The first thing to recognize is that the points you make in the field, obviously they're going to be saved visually looking like this in blank space. But the raw data is actually going to be in a CSV file format, which looks like this. You can see you have your name of your point with a semicolon, then the northern coordinate, eastern coordinate, height coordinate, and any other data that's associated with your points. Being able to navigate and understand how your CSV files work will help you immensely when you transfer this data into AutoCAD. Well, I'm not going to go into detail on how to edit CSV files because this is something for another video. I will just show you one simple trick. CSV files, because the data is separated with a consistent punctuation, all you need to do to get this separated out to see things clearly is highlight the column that has the data and for this instance, it's the A column. Go to your data ribbon and simply go to text to columns and simply in here, make sure you indicate that you are using delimited data and it is delimited with whatever you are using as a delimiter. And in my case, it is a semicolon. And now if I back out, you'll notice that all of it is now separated out for me to do what I need to do. In the description of the video, I'll make sure I link another video that talks about more regarding CSVs. For now, just know that I have rearranged my points in such a way that my data went from looking like this originally, because what I was measuring was a facade. Right now I'm in top-down view, so you can see that my station's located over here, looking towards a bunch of different points that look like they're stacked on top of each other, because technically they are, they're on a, a side of a building going up the building. But if I really quickly go to the left side view here, you'll see that my points are simply just a, a wall um, with different heights. So I'm at 1500 inches down here, 1791 inches up here. So it's just points on a wall. And uh, if I go back to top down view, you can see that they're basically just right on top of each other because they're falling right on top of a wall. I needed to edit my CSV to make sure that they looked like this top down view, which would match my AutoCAD drawing. Feel free to ask questions if you need help on rearranging your CSV file, but rearrange as needed. Then you are ready to go ahead and take these points and put it into AutoCAD. Regarding AutoCAD, getting the point into a drawing space such as this is fairly simple. It just depends on the software you're using. So in my case, I have this ribbon up here called Hilti Field Points, where I was simply able to take a CSV and import that CSV via the Hilti Field Point software. The nice thing about my software is that I'm able to find those points and it brings it in not only at their correct uh, coordinate location, but obviously it includes their point name. Uh, S41 over here, for instance, is a very important point to me because it's my alignment point. It's the point that I know exactly where I need to drag it onto the DWG 
that aligns to, that will make sure all these other points align to it. However, if you're different and you don't have a Hilti Field Point software, but you have either some other type of ribbon um, in AutoCAD to bring in your points or no ribbon at all, you have to find a way to bring in your point coordinates into AutoCAD and have it sitting here as a point. I will leave in the description of the video a method of doing that if you don't have a point creator. The only downside is that if, if you don't have a point creator, your points are going to come in without a name. So you might need to make sure you look at their coordinate and properties to make sure you know what point you're working with. But to keep this simple, make sure you bring all your points and their coordinates into AutoCAD somehow. So now you can take these and align them over to your drawing. So now prior to alignment, the next thing you want to check is to make sure the units that you have in this drawing space match the units that you are going to be dragging those points to. So if I show you my units for this DWG currently open, the units are obviously in units of inches. And over here on my points drawing, my units are also inches. Um, for the way that I align, having those in the same units makes it a lot easier. So what happens next? Now that they're in the same units, what I can do is I can select all of my points. Now for what I did here, my alignment's very simple. I have one alignment point. It's this S41 point. Because I made my points in such a way that this is already in north, south, east, west view, the exact same view as this, I really only need one point to drag all my points to, which is this one right here. This is my control point. So all I need to do is highlight all my points, use the copy via base point option, which is control shift C, or you can access it by going to the clipboard. And my base point is going to be this S41 point. This is my alignment point. So if I find the center of that, click on that, and I simply come over here and I use the control V command, which is paste. And you can see I have all my points my base point is that S41 point. Well, S41 belongs right here. And I'm going to simply click. Now, all of my points have been imported successfully into this drawing. S41 is exactly where it's supposed to be. And all that's left for me to do is to zoom out and observe where all the other location of these points have gone. And if I needed to, I can do a distance measure of some sort from uh, you know the center of my the center of this point to this grid line intersection to see how far that's off if it needs to be there so about an inch off etc I'm not going to go into the weeds of how you might do your job but this is how you overlay them I simply had to just take or this north south east west drawing that I was able to make from the CSV file drag it based off some sort of point into another drawing but now the question is let's say it's more complicated than that let's say for instance that your drawing is rotated differently than your points. So they're on two different rotations. You can't just easily drag one point onto the drawing because still they'll be rotated differently. What do you do? Well essentially you need two points in this situation to make sure you get aligned. You need your base point as you see here this is my S41 location that's my base point and then you need one other point that let's call it your rotation point. So what should be my rotation point? Here I have my base point well, on my drawing, if I zoom in, you'll see that I have another point here that this represents my backsight station number one. I'll just make sure I drag that point here as well during the alignment. And so all I need to do in this case is run the alignment command. So I'm going to go over to my points. I will copy them and I will paste them over into this drawing somewhere on the side just for a second. And now all I need to do is highlight my points and I run the align command. It's, this is probably one of my favorite commands in AutoCAD. By using the align command, I can then go to my S41 point, and I can drag the center of this point over to where I know that control point belongs, which is right here. And now I'll drag my backsite point number one point, this back point station one. I'm bringing that over to that circle that was represented in my drawing. And again, this backsite point is my rotation point. That's what I'm calling it. I knew my base point was S41, and this backside point is simply the point that's going to make sure that when I place it, my points will rotate properly to the drawing.
And so that's what I did. On the right side, I made sure that my drawing had two clear points already drawn on it that I knew would perfectly align with two measured points from the field. That way, when I come to do what I'm doing right now and doing this alignment, I had those two clear points ready to just drag over and align. I put one point there, one point there. I know they're aligned. Those were my control points basically in the field. And the, the last part of the align command is, is to specify a third source point or continue. I'm just going to continue because I don't have a third point. And now it's asking you if you want to scale. Scale basically is asking you if you want to change the values of your points, the distances of your points, to match the distance of the drawing. And the answer to that is actually no, you do not want to scale your points. The points was exactly measured as the field had them. And so to scale them here would basically be doing you a disservice because the whole point of this exercise was to see if the actual measurements in the field matched the scale of the drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And now all the points are going to be pulled over here, rotated with the drawing so I can observe their real location. So obviously there's more we can go into. There's more nuances that you guys might run into. But long story short, use the align command to maneuver your points onto your drawing as needed. When you do this for the first time, it might seem daunting and difficult. Please leave any questions that you have in the comments. Happy to hear your experiences.